reopening the investigation based on new information that they found. That didn't mean that there was anything positive or negative. Hillary's probably handling this the right way by saying, hey, I want to put this out and I want to put it out fast. Well, she's handling it the right way for her because if they don't get it out fast, then it's going to leave doubt and that's going to hurt her. Right. Well, I think it's a tempest in the teapot, if you want my opinion. You know, mm. and, and well, it's 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 not uh, it's not uh, not worth it. Well, I think we got the TV working finally. Right. We'll see. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> um, Hillary, I think this whole thing is a tempest in the teapot. She's quite right. You know, it's not like the. FBI is saying we're going to charge her with anything because of this or anything else. They just said we found some more emails. So right. why don't they just do the research and do what they need to do and keep it all under wraps? Yeah, well, that, because Comey's that's a piece of shit. Well, that's well, that's the question. Comey's um, an incompetent asshole. It, who, there, there is a tradition of not exposing these investigations from the FBI within 60 days of an election. Right. And uh, but that's a tradition, not a not a rule. So that's why you, you got to wonder if it's just politically motivated that somebody pressured somebody or has pictures of somebody with farm animals or whatever. Well, okay, I so let's, let's talk about this tradition for a second. Another tradition running for office is to release your effing tax returns. Has nothing to do with this. Same thing. Tradition. Nothing to do with it's, this. It's rigged. Hey, you can try to deflect this for your gal Hillary all you want, but you know what? Guilty is charged. Not even close. <laughs> you got nothing, honey. Nothing. Look, look, look. You know, we haven't even started to look at the Trump Foundation. OK, God. you know, I mean, everybody, it, all I'm saying is I'm not going to vote because both these people are assholes, you know, and I, I just I, I don't as an American, I am insulted by being handed these two asshats as candidates. You know, she's got her problems with her Clinton initiative and, you know, she's been pocketing money for years and Donald Trump's been, you know, hiring illegal aliens to build his buildings and the, you know, one thing after another. They're both pieces of shit. And you know something? I agree 100 percent with you. And if it wasn't Donald Trump in the other seat, I wouldn't vote either. Donald Trump's the luckiest thing that ever happened to Hillary Clinton, because if she was put up against anybody else, Ted Cruz, you're right. She'd be having, she'd be sweating bullets. She's still sweating. I, I think right now she needs to sweat bullets. Uh, no, yeah, well, not with Trump. What she's not going to get is the independent vote, uh, or as much of it. And what's going to happen is it's going to be a much tighter election than, uh, as long as Trump doesn't put his foot in his mouth this week. If, if he starts tweeting uh, you know, that uh, Hillary was playing with Martians or, or something, uh, then, you know, he's, he's going to put his foot in it. And I, I, I'm just waiting for, you know, what he's going to say. If he doesn't lay low this time and keep his mouth shut, he is just going to fuck Let up me his ask you something there, Phil. Just based on what you said there, based on the way you think of this person, how is it that you would want him to be the president? I don't want Hillary, and uh, you know it's, that's not that's not a it's a false equivalency. I mean, I, the issue is is that Hillary actually you, has you know, no, but you know what this this election this is why I don't want to vote. What this election is boiling down to, who is the person you want to vote against? In other words, it isn't like uh, who, which which candidate do you like the best? We We're not even asking that question. Well, they both, I, you know, they both have their pluses and minuses. Tr uh, Trump obviously has uh, foot and mouth disease, uh, but uh, Hillary is she, she's a crook, and uh, and it's true. You know, now, where she, where, is, where is your proof that she's a yeah. crook? There's no proof of that. Yeah, it's, it's like, she, you bring she so happens. 
she's the greatest investor in the world. She took a hundred dollar or a thousand dollar investment, turned it to one hundred eighty thousand uh, dollars uh, buying cattle or something when she was uh, in Arkansas. Then all of a sudden, she's getting millions of dollars uh, from a foreign yeah. But if Trump did it, you just say he was a good business foreign man. Foreign governments. Uh, what happened to my thing? I don't know. You were, you're, That's because you were spewing bullshit again. Uh, yeah. She's taking money from foreign governments. You know, she's in the pocket of uh, all of these guys. And, you know, well, I just don't want another in the pocket person. Did we decide that she did receive uh, international funds for the Clinton Foundation while she was Secretary of State? Well, no. Uh, the, 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 here, here are a couple of things. Here are a couple of things. Uh, uh, she supposedly was doing some business for the for the foundation, but we have no proof of that, and we have no idea of to what extent it was. But let's be honest about it. To begin with, the Clinton Foundation is a nonprofit organization that does good works worldwide. So why would it be so terrible if she was like just you know seeing people for a few minutes to give them a nice howdy? Now there are a lot of people I'll tell you who were saying that the Clintons used uh, her ability to get money from other countries. Uh, you know, uh, those people also wanted to curry favor just with the Clintons in general. A lot of them just wanted to meet Bill, and then they would hand over a check. And then they say, well, then also Bill later on did business with these people. Well, hey, that happens. You meet people, you do business with them. You know, I don't see if there was anything terrible being done. But I'm sick and tired of the fact that they didn't cross their T's and dot their I's when they did all of this, so this wouldn't come back to bite them in the ass. Yeah, and it's not you like know. she didn't know that she wasn't doing this. I mean, after... I mean, she knew what, 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 what her destiny was going to be. She wanted to be president in the worst way. Well, so you so don't... she knew when Barack Obama became president that everything was going this direction and if she was in if she was secretary of state while she was doing this little go between stuff that does need to be questioned but but if there's no law against it we can't hold it against her when she gets in office if everybody viewed that there was a problem with it and we voted the against question, it that's the question is did she make did, did, did the clintons make money at the detriment of americans and uh, in in uh, at a detriment to american policy foreign policy and i don't think any of that is true you don't yeah. think there was a conflict of interest a, a conflict of interest if the it's conflict different. of interest took money out of your pocket or my pocket, or if it caused problems internationally because of the way they were doing business, I'd say yes. But there was no conflict of interest that caused any kind of problem. So I think she sold out this country for her conflict sold of interest. Sold out to, to who? How? Yeah. Who? Say again? Man. Iran? Uh, the, yeah, the, the, Iran, the, uh, the Iran no, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You're blaming the whole Iran thing on her when the ultimate decision is in the Oval Office on that one, okay? She simply was sent out to do business with Iran by our government to try and, and, and get something to work. She was the messenger. She wasn't the person who signed the paper, who said, here's where we're going, this is the direction we're going in. That was Obama. She negotiated the No, she, she negotiated it because you have your Secretary of State go out and negotiate what you want to have negotiated. Yeah, well, she came back with a lousy deal. Well, no, she didn't come back with a lousy deal. She came back with a deal. The president said, cool, we accept it, and that was what happened. The ultimate blame, if you're going to blame anybody for any of that, is not Hillary Clinton. Uh, it is, in fact, uh, um, what's her uh, the administration. Uh, yeah. The so, Oval Office. Yeah. Well, she's. By the way, I just just so no, people know, we've been joined by Mr. Dan, and the TV apparently seems to be working now. Uh, I, I I just took the quality of it down, and it's looking pretty good on the air. So uh, I'll probably keep it this way and never have streaming problems again. Yes, Dan. Um, I'll, I'm just probably just probably seen your. It's been like a couple minutes but since I listened and got on here, so your conversation might have drifted. But this is something I hear a lot is like this some sort of equivalency between Hillary and Trump. As in, yeah, Hillary's certainly not perfect. Hillary certainly has her problems. 
but Trump is a fucking psychopath of a human. Well, He's not well, just, yeah. like, and, and, but, like Hillary yeah. might be a shady politician, but she's At least not she isn't a, a psychopath. A, a psychopath yeah. of, like, a, a, See, that's the like, kind of thing that people use. They say, for instance, even David was calling me a moron and, uh, and, and so forth. You know, well, there was they, a good reason for that, nice Phil. So there's they, a good reason why he called you a moron. You know why? No, why? Because you are. Oh. <laughs> well... Uh, yeah, but uh, you you talk to me. You haven't banned me, so I must not be that much of a moron. Uh, no, you you you, uh, you you bring out the fight uh, anyway, in me. You bring the fight out in me. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> you know the the idea is that these are the kinds of words and you know rapist, moron. So all these accusations are being thrown at Trump with absolutely really no. He hasn't been convicted of anything, and you and you Wait, use this argument. He, he used to see out of his mouth, his own mouth, grabbing Look, pussy, and, and it's just some guys talking. I'm sure uh, you've uh, talked. Worse than uh, that. No, no, I, no, I no, have no, never no, talked. No, I've no, never no, talked no. that way about women. No, never. No, never. No, and, and if I ever was in a in the room with a guy who did, I would call him on it. it yeah. It, so you know, so you it, could call him that. That doesn't mean that the guy is raping women and doing well, some of the things. Well, uh, oh, there are women who say they've been groped. They've been groped by him and fingered by him. Fingered. So, well, basically you know, grabbing, grabbing the goods without permission. Well, I, I, I doubt that they were in his limo snorting it cocaine. It doesn't matter. Not let them grab the goods. Well, if they were in the limo smoking, co yeah. snorting cocaine, then we got a whole different set of questions to be asked here. What about the pageant, Phil? Him going back while they're half naked. How about Teen America pageant? Yeah. I think that's all standard stuff. He was, you know, he was what the standard stuff. You heard it from the, of the pageant. You know, this this is just the kind of stuff to try to deflect away from Hillary the issues that she's Wait a minute. I think I think Dan's trying he's trying to say something, Dan. Dan? Uh oh, your your sound is is good is bad, Dan. Hang up and call back, okay? Well, oh, I oh, oh, now you're okay. Now you're good. Now you're good. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to get it out of it here. Yeah. Phil, that you can't oh, say what? shit like that. Why not? Also, also, let me just mention we've been joined by Mark Green. Hi, Mark. Yeah, but you say that stuff uh -oh. about Trump. Uh -oh. Why can't you say it about Hillary? No, no, you're talking about sexual assault and acceptability. I'm not talking about as, as a I'm in talking. The well, everybody else is talking about sexual assault, so it's about yes, time you they start. They don't want to talk about Hillary and her emails. Oh, oh my God! Well, wait a minute! Wait a minute! Wait a minute! Hold on a second. It's it's a it's a, a it's a deflection. A, a human a one human being is. one human being unwantingly fingers, sticks his finger in another's vagina, and somehow you're equating that with a problem with emails. Well, so Hillary stuck her finger up the ass of the of America. Oh, you know, it's uh, I knew I knew you were going to come up with that cheap anomaly. Or an anomaly, uh, an analogy. Still, Phil hasn't changed yeah. a bit. Since yeah. Uh, 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 Mark, how are you? Have you been listening to this? Uh, yes, I have. Yeah. What's your take? I haven't heard you guys for a while, so I was curious what, what, your, what your opinions were on this stuff. Yeah. Um, it's actually so. Why haven't you been listening lately? Did you get bored with us or something, or what? I actually had to get a back operation. Oh, really? Yep, I got laid up for a month. Yeah, are you okay? Are you okay now? Yeah, I, I it was like, yeah, I'm, I'm very lucky. So. Yeah. Somebody just phoned us. Uh, they called us on the telephone, and uh, who might that be? Who we? Hi, Alex. This is Bree calling you from Dubai, United Arab Emirates. Really? Excellent. Yes. Cool. Yeah, yeah. You know. Alex, I have tried to add you on Skype, but uh, I don't know. It, it always resend requests, resend requests. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Okay, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Maybe, maybe you tried. Did you try tonight? I did. I tried. There are two yeah, I don't. For yeah, for I don't. Yeah, I don't. You. No, no. You, what you should do is look for Gabnet Live. Is that what you tried to get? I got that. Uh, yeah. Uh, because I don't yeah, see, I don't see an attempt here by you. Wait a minute. Well, no, I don't see an attempt by you. 
uh, to uh, uh, to get on. Re, you see. have to request to be added, not uh, 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 of Gabnet Live. Do, do That's you, right. Do you go up to add contact? Right. He said he requested to be made yeah. a contact, right. and it didn't work. It says resend contact request. I'm sending it right now. Okay. Re resend the contact re request. Well, here I see your phone number. Hold on a second, folks. No, I. D oh, wait a minute. It says add to contacts. It's a nine one seven number nine seven one. Yeah, that's. Is that it? That's right. Okay, let me see. Add to contacts. Yeah. Oh, save this number as a contact. Okay, save. Okay, I I don't I don't get it. It's uh, there's some there's some there's some problem with you being okay. able to get in, and I don't know what. That is. Huh. Uh, so anyway. Well, I'm trying well, to call you now on Skype. Well, anyway. I'm trying to call you now. Mm -hmm. Your yes. camera is disabled. Okay. Yeah, so yeah. anyway, hey, I'm anyway. sorry. Just, I didn't just, mean to disrupt the, the conversation. Is, no, is the, phone call, uh, is the phone call costing you money? It does. Yeah, no, the phone no. call costs me money. Oh, boy. But I'm trying to connect on Skype right now. And uh, do, you, do you go add content? Wow. With me, you're having some problem yeah. on your end. It could be problem on your okay, end. Okay, well. Yeah. So what time is Call it? Call no answer. Uh, Dubai. It's, it's 7 o'clock in the morning. I, I normally don't get up this early on a Saturday morning. But mm -hmm. uh, for some reason I did, so I turned on the uh, World Series game. And uh, Cleveland just had scored. And so then I thought, oh, it's early in the morning. I will call Alex and see if I can figure out this Skype issue. Yeah, because uh, I can never get, never seem to get through. Huh. You know, I know you're talking about the election. Mm -hmm. um, I, I can only follow what I see in media. Uh, mm -hmm. You know, the mediated reality because I'm not in the in the U.S. I was there uh, for a couple of weeks in June, July. But my impression is that, um, according to what I uh, see and read, that Hillary Clinton has this in a landslide. That it's not even it. it it's not. It's a wonderment that anybody's talking about it, if you are following sort of, you know, what's coming out of the media from the states mm -hmm. uh, and from the polling and from everything. Uh, the, the the election was over uh, like a week or two ago, and uh, why is anybody talking about it? that's sort of the impression that I get? Yeah. Well, the impression we're getting here is that it's not over till it's over. And, uh, you know, it could turn on a dime. We're going to beat this horse. Yeah. You know, uh, uh, you know, I just, I, I'm just so mad at both these people. You know, I think we just deserve a better choice. And, yeah, and, I, and, I, and I have nobody to blame but the American people who nominated these assets. No, I don't Alex, know. did you ever see the movie uh, Brewster's Millions? Yeah. None of the above. <laughs> uh, yeah. What were you going to say, Rob? I, I don't think it's the American people's fault. I think it's the fault of our, our uh, you know, system that's, uh, you know, corrupted. And, and uh, you know, you talk about corruption. I don't believe that there's corruption at the level that Donald Trump is claiming. Mm -hmm. But I think the corruption happens above that. I think the corruption happens in who be, who can get to the election. It's higher than – they're not messing with who votes for what. They're messing with who you get to vote for. Yeah. And, and, and so I don't blame the American people. I blame the system that we live in and, and, and the corruption that takes place up it at was, that level. It was yeah. obvious the fix Well, I like was Alex's there. idea of just waiting for – just going to the convention. They, the, the, no, but, uh, they all get they all no primaries. Go to the conventions. Tell us who your standard bearer is going to be, and then we'll make a decision. And that will be like a three month, four month process, and not two years of this agony, you yeah. know. And with the press, yeah, it, it really who, is the true. press is the real evil. Um, uh, you know, the only thing that Trump and I would agree with is that the press is evil, and they're yes. evil to this extent. They have ginned up this whole thing so they can make more money out of it than you can possibly imagine. Absolutely. Because when the ratings are high on some of those debates, the yep. primary debates, they mm -hmm. were charging lots of money for that time. And they've just been ginning this thing up trying to get the ratings. Again, that's the fault of, uh, of our lawmakers and those people who, who, who can get in and lobby 
mm-hmm. to get. I mean, why? You know what? You want to have a debate? Okay, you you do it. Dedicate your airtime. No commercials. You see how few debates there are. Yeah. Turn yeah. off the the twenty four by seven media into this stuff and take away the profit, which is what it should be. Yeah. You know, and it, it, it's a it's a real well, it's a real mistake when when the 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 news media is becomes profit based because they gin it up. Yep, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, to a large extent. Yeah, I mean, you can look at Britain, look at Great Britain, and how they sort of run things, and it's one idea. Alex, I've got to check out here. Yeah, I know. Because, uh, it costs me like a dollar a minute. Oh, oh okay. <laughs> so, uh, Bree, I'll tell you. I can look at online. Uh, uh, try and figure out what the pro- my problem just might be with, with your with your uh, with getting out of Dubai on Skype. But what you might do well, is uh, why don't you write me an email at alex at gabnet dot net. Tell me when you're going to be home, and one day uh, I will give you a call, and we can get this thing okay. working for you. Okay. Okay. All right. I, I sent a couple of text uh, chat messages in there. I don't know if they're getting through either. Yeah. But uh, uh, yeah, we'll I don't. I don't see but, them. Uh, I always enjoy the show. Thank I you. I download it through Podcast Addict. Okay. And then I listen um, okay. you know, at different times over here in Dubai. Thanks okay. a lot. Okay. Okay. Bye bye. Thanks. Okay. Bye-bye. Anyway, uh, hey, from Dubai, and we got Hawaii. We're all over the world. Dan, your picture isn't on, but your lovely still is. Renee. You have to say thanks to Mark Green because Mark Green at this particular point is doing you a big solid because he's actually in the wonderful state of Ohio (coughs) and his his team is on the television right now. Oh, yes, in the background there. Thank God it's kind of... Cleveland's ahead, one and nothing. Yeah. Bob the eighth. Can I? Uh, am I in trouble for that, Rob? If it's in the background and we can barely see the picture, yeah, you're not in trouble for that. Oh, That's okay. Fine. I just, I'm just wondering about that. You know. uh, uh, Nobody can say they can watch. No, but that. all, all I'm, see it. All I'm saying here is, is that 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 you know, if if you're a person who believes Hillary is crooked, then you're voting for for Trump. Because she, he's not as bad as Hillary, and if you're voting for Hillary, it's because she's not as bad as Trump. Is that what we deserve? Is that kind of choice? It's kind of Sophie's choice, you know. Mm-hmm. And do we do we deserve that at this point? I mean, I'm so pissed off at it. It's amazing. We allowed Citizens United. Mm-hmm. No, so we did. We did. We did. The Supreme Court allowed Citizens United. But by the backing of the Republicans. Yeah, so, but, but we, we didn't do it, you know. Um, well, I don't know. You have to ask the question. You know, the question, I'll tell you what the question has to be. Uh, Citizens United uh, puts the ability for corporations to Maybe. back candidates using as much money as they want to use. Yep. Has Citizens United helped either of these candidates? No, this, but it helped us only get two. Yeah, but but it obviously, you know, I mean, there were a lot more people who were using spending a lot more money than Donald Trump. Yeah, I you think know. this year is an anomaly when it comes to that. I'll bet, you know, it, look, it didn't work. It didn't work for Romney when he ran. Yep. You could be sure a ton of money went towards Romney back in, in uh, you yeah. know. Right. But this time around, nobody is, is willing to back no big business is backing Trump. They're all afraid. In fact, I want to call up my guy and ask him because I'm a little worried that I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about taking my 401k and putting it in cash or something until until because they're saying if he gets elected, that the the uh, the stock market's going to tank. Talk show if, host tell, say buy gold. If he gets elected, the United States, every bit, including our national park system, will be for sale to the highest bidder. And if you don't have cash, you don't get part of the United States. He's going to whore us out like we were. I, I, I think you're making stuff up. Oh, seriously. He's all about money. So what's the big deal about this? He's, he's all thing. about America. About oh, oh, do you really believe he's any kind of a fucking patriot? My God, Phil. <laughs> <laughs> All the guy is into is making money and satisfying this this ego, which was set in stone by his asshole father years ago. Yeah. It's all ego. It's all. This is all about ego. 
it, 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 they, they did a little bit of a uh, psych psychological profile on Trump based upon interviews that he did and answers that he's given. And it came out that this guy really, he hates to lose. He yes. just hates to lose. That's to him, true. that's the worst thing you can do in the whole world is lose. It's and, a psychotic disorder with him. Yeah. And, and what does Hillary have? You know, if you did a psychological profile on Hillary, what, what's, she's a, a megalomaniac. She's looking for power. Now, wait a second. She's, she's donated her in, almost her entire adult life. To, to making $180 million for the Clinton family. Listen, when they left the White House, the they had zilch. Trump. They had zilch. She, she, she had Trump money. To serving people. Yes. To the serving people yeah. of the United States government. What has Trump done? All he's done is freaking. He's, he's never him. given anything to this country. He, and when it came to the one time, worker. when it came to the he's, one time he's that he could. He sacrificed. Yeah. He's built a built a big company. He's built buildings. He yeah. sacrificed. He it. sacrificed. Yeah. <laughs> he, he, the, the fact is that when it came time for him to uh, go into the military, he weaseled his way out of it. So what well, kind of American are you if you do that? A Dick well, Cheney. So he had shin splints. Oh wait, I said that wrong. <laughs> oh my God, I think Dick Cheney. Yeah, hang now. Yeah, yeah. That's the ticket. <laughs> yeah. But see, you know what? You don't get you don't get kudos for being a chicken hawk. A and don't allow it. He's not a chicken hawk. You're He's all a accusing hawk. him of things that have not been proven. You're He's a in joke. proven guilty. <laughs> no, I agree with him. He is investigating him right now for being a chicken hawk. Now let's He's let's talk about this. How many times did he not Sorry. Hmm? What? It's racist. How many times did he get out of going to war? Service. How many uh, times? What, what is racist uh, about wanting to protect your borders and, and, and making sure that the people that come in are vetted and are here illegally? Well, by the way, we've been joined by Tony. Turn on your camera, Tony. Do I have to always tell you this? Oh, I, I'm sorry. <laughs> and he always goes, I'm sorry. Yeah. Anyway, uh, Trump's going to win. She thinks, but you know, but but here's here's the problem. I mean, bottom line. I mean, we're being handed two people, and the choice you're going to make. Am I right about this, Mark? You got to say you're making the choice for the same reason. You're choosing Hillary because you don't want Trump. It, your vote is a vote against the other guy, rather than being just enthusiastic about the other one. Yeah, I, I think it's a bad idea to, to choose a president with a demolition derby. Yeah. You know, this is this is not this is craziness. These are two people that in normal conditions nobody would want. Wow. But I, but I would choose but I would choose corrupt over crazy if I'm yes, I agree. I, 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 if in that job I would choose corrupt over over uh, uh, at least I understand corrupt. I don't over, understand crazy. Over loose crazy cannon. loose cannon. Yeah. But yes, Bruce Cannon. No, yeah. no, I mean crazy. He lies. He lies yeah. one sentence after another, you know, for, for nothing, for no reason. What was the point of lying about President Obama's birth, birthplace? What he was didn't the lie. He asked the question. And when yeah. it was proved, he still didn't believe it. That's what's called passive aggressive behavior, Phil. When you ask a question like that, you're really expecting people to take it as truth. He well, said the Bible. He said the Bible is his favorite true. book. Do you believe that? No, sure. well, it's my favorite book because I've got it under a, a table that wobbles a lot. And, uh, no, I mean, I mean, why, why say that stuff? That that's yeah. that's crazy. That's that's not well, normal. Dan, you're whirling around. Rather than do that, why don't you show us that still picture of yourself for all the TV oh, people okay. tonight? Yeah. There uh, is. Well, actually, I was going to bring up. Uh, you know, that I uh, used to be. You know, I'm starting. I, I see. I, I still can't say I can get excited about Hillary. Get, asking me to get excited about Hillary is pretty tough. But at the same time, Bill said the same thing. Yeah, <laughs> but but uh, at the same time, it's like you know, there, there's like I said before, there's just such a vast difference. I mean, somebody she'll be competent. There's no doubt about that. Right. She'll be a competent 
I would say at least pretty good president, and there's no chance that Donald Trump will be anything but a horrible. And, and I don't think when she's in office, she's necessarily going to be corrupt or steal from us yeah. or anything like that. I just don't think that's. I don't think that's in her DNA. All right. Trump, yes, Trump, Renee. She's not in office. Renee. Donald Trump had five deferments in the Vietnam War. And by the way, the reason he could, one of the reasons he couldn't go to the war was because he was at Wharton, and Wharton wants their degree back. Wharton doesn't like the fact that he says he's from Wharton. So five different he a Wharton degree at Chicken Hawk. Does he it have a makes, Wharton degree? Yeah, he does have a Wharton degree. Well, then they can't get it back. That's but it's funny that they want it back. They want it back. That's the you whole know, thing. How often does that happen, Phil? Yeah, this is true. Look, the guy goes to Wharton, he gets oh. a degree. Adolf Hitler could have gone to Wharton, they can't get it back. But the, no, we understand that. That's, that's not the point. The point is that every step of the way, we have broken. We, you can't even, uh, there's no memory of anything like this with everybody separating their self, themselves from him. Why? Why is everybody doing that? Can you can you understand th th that everybody is separate? Even the, the school he went to doesn't want to be associated. They know they can't get it back. They'd love to. Yeah, they would love to. And that's, they've asked. By the way, man, can I just mention something off kilter from this discussion? Mark Green, true to his name, has a lovely green sweater on tonight. <laughs> sage. <laughs> Looks good. sage. Well, well, thank you very much, Alex. And, and your hat is very red and very lovely, too. Yeah, it's, it says, uh, it says uh, make America great again. No, it uh, really it says. So, okay, so let's ask the question. How many, deferment, how many deferments d does it take to make you a chicken hawk? Is it one? Well, no, chicken hawk, chicken the term chicken, chicken hawk refers to a man who likes to go after young boys. No, no, no. In, in military terms, that's not what it is. Well, wait a minute. Yes, hold, yes. hold on a second. Here, here we go. Is, wait a minute. Uh, I'm goes after young kids. Okay. No, not in military. Terms. I, ju I just, no, 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 no. I just accepted our friend from Dubai. Yay! Maybe they yeah. can call him for two. Yeah, yeah. So if he's <laughs> listening, I think you can get him. Someone who won't never go to war themselves, but they'll send kids off to do it for them. But they would send other people off to war. Absolutely. Yeah. And with five deferments. He, even with one deferment in my book, maybe two, I'll, I'll might give you because you might be really hurt. But after that, you're a chicken hawk. Yeah. And yeah. chicken hawks have no value. They, they're more than happy to send people off to go get killed, but they would never have done it themselves. And, and those people are sad. By the way, let me, let, me put the word, let me put the word out to Bree if he's listening. You can call out. You can actually get in. Uh, because we, we just accepted you. Now, I think I said something wrong. I'm pretty sure I was wrong in the fact that Dick Cheney actually served in the military, in the U.S. military, and I said he didn't, and so I'm pretty sure he did, and I apologize. What's that got to do with Trump? Well, see, I, I, I melted both Dick Cheney and Donald Trump in the same thing about being chicken hawks, and that wasn't The, the true. chicken it's hawk is not the term. Yeah. It is. No, it's it isn't. Is term. Huh? It, it, it is, Dan? Yes. I always heard Chicken Hawk was like a guy who was preyed on young boys. Yeah. Oh. Well, that might oh. be Donald Trump as well. Yeah, I mean, that could Trump describe Trump. At this yeah. point. But, uh, but no, it's just, it's just a, a Chicken Hawk. is like, uh, like George W. Bush was a Chicken Hawk. Absolutely. He wouldn't go to war. Hey, by the way, everybody, everybody, let's have your applause now because uh, Bree actually got on by Skype. He doesn't have he doesn't have a video, but he does have his audio. Right, Bree? That is correct. OK, well, that uh, well, sure we'll, we'll, we'll accept that. Are you doing it from an iPad or an iPhone? I'm on an iPad. That's why we can't see your picture, your video. Yeah, but that's okay. Stick with us. Oh, so, so I got up and put on a, a dress shirt uh, for nothing, apparently. Yeah, apparently, <laughs> apparently. Uh, uh, and Bree, anytime you want to say something, just yell out Bree, and I'll I'll go to you. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, because that way uh, you, you you have the same advantage as everybody else. Uh, yes, Renee. So everybody understands what a chicken hawk is. 
We're on the same page. I never heard that term applied to somebody. I heard draft dodger. It's a military term given to people that would send somebody to war, but would never go themselves. And that's what they're called. Oh. And that's exactly what George Bush is. And it'll be exactly what what uh, the Donald Wasn't George is. Bush in the military? Wasn't he flying jets? Oh, my God. His cohort times were, were well documented. <laughs> There was times where he didn't even show up for his job. And flying uh, oh, oh. is one of the most cool things on the planet. But this guy did so much blow, he would miss his actual flying time with the Texas That's, National Guard. Bree, 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 did, did you, uh, did you, uh, do you ever ser serve in the military? Bree? No, I didn't. But uh, my uh, my father and my brother did. Yeah. Uh, and uh, because I mean, the reason I'm asking that is because Mark, you didn't serve in the military, did you? Yes, he did. But you did? Yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. I did. And actually, um, uh, Renee is absolutely right about this. Chicken hawks are referred to people from the Vietnam era, uh, politicians who who put on a who put on a tough uh, warmonger attitude, but but did what they could when they were of age to get out of military service. Mm -hmm. That That's what a chicken hawk is. And it had to do with, with Vietnam era. And Donald Trump fits that description. He got out because he had a bone spur in, a, in one foot, but he's not sure which foot it was. And I think another time he had a bone spur and, and a foot up his ass. <laughs> but, he, but he really got out because his dad was a multi-millionaire. No. I mean, and that's the, that's the reality of what happened back then. You had to be connected to get out. It, oddly enough, though, he spent his high school years in a military academy. That's right. Well, yeah. So so why wasn't he in Vietnam? Exactly. But he, Bush, I'm trying Bush. to sign in on my computer. Well, you, well, you you're not okay. Like okay, Bree, go for sign in on your computer. Military school. He's yeah, got to see if it's off get first. In there. What? what? Bree, Bree would have to hang up on his first on his phone and then call back on the computer. To make yeah, he's on the iPad. You, no, you're on you're on the iPad. You want to go use your your desk computer? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, you can hang up and then go try that. If that doesn't work, come back okay. on the iPad. Okay. And, and you know, before I I do. Uh, Listen to how you're talking about Trump. This is the impression that I get, that every single uh, entity is disassociating with him. How is he still competing? And you're talking as if he can win the election when every single person, every, every institution, every celebrity except Chachi, um, you know, I don't understand this. It's because Hillary is so hated and so disliked is the only reason why any other candidate on the other side if biden would have been the candidate we would be it would be a blowout but you know but it's also uh Bree, uh, the fact that uh in the case of hillary we have a very vulnerable candidate who at any moment something could come out i mean uh julian assange has said he still is waiting to release something which will show her to be an absolute crook which will wind her up in prison Oh that's what he's saying. He says that that's coming in a few days. You know, so we don't. She had the flu and she couldn't uh, walk. I mean, <laughs> I, I don't know what else. Yeah, it just seems to me that it's over, and we're just talking about the. I don't know. Well, it, it. you know, it's like Yogi Berra used to say: "It ain't over till it's over." Mm -hmm. uh, and and uh, uh, while I would have agreed with you maybe yesterday. Today, this stuff, I don't know how it's going to affect the American public. This thing is just, this is just the worst that we've ever had. How long have you been over in Dubai, Bree? Well, I've been here for three years and then uh, 10 years in Singapore. Oh, wow. That's very nice. Like Sorry, se seven years in Singapore. It's too early in the morning. Ten, now, uh, now which, which do, where, 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 where would you rather be, Singapore or Dubai? Um, that's a tough question. Really? I, I, like, them, I like them both. Yeah. What are you doing in Dubai? Uh, I teach here. Huh. Wow, because yeah, I because I would think Dubai is hot and it's you know. No, it's, you know, it's, Alex. This is the thing. So many people have so many misperceptions about this place. You know, the weather right now. You know, you were just given the temperature in Iraq. What was it yesterday? And 
some of you are like, wow, it's amazing, it's 88. That's typical for us. You know, for right now, until March or April, we will have better weather than Hawaii. We have beautiful weather. It's, it's, there's, there's uh, no rain, and it will be perfect temperature from now until, like, April. Wow. And so, that's so, first so, so, is that what you're telling me, is you just stepped up to Hawaii? Because <laughs> <laughs> she's in Hawaii. Here's one of the things. Singapore is very similar uh, to Hawaii in that you get rain when you, you don't even know that there's rain and then there's rain. But then by the time you realize it, it's, it's not there anymore. <laughs> so I don't know. When I was in Singapore, I always had to carry an umbrella, like all the time. But in Dubai, I never carry an umbrella. So I don't know if that's it. Best a food in Singapore. Love the food in Singapore. Really? Well, <clears throat> yeah, it's, but uh, I'll tell you, in Dubai, we actually have as many, if not more, selections in really? terms of, yeah, we really do. In Singapore, it's very hard to find Mexican. Uh, it's True. very hard to find Lebanese. Um, but in Dubai, you can find everything. So. Wow, yeah. that's that's terrific. Uh, but but l let me ask you this: you, So you're sitting over there. You're you're an American, I trust. Yeah. Uh, am I right? And and you, um, uh, I imagine you, can, you still vote, right, in the American yeah. election. Well, uh, now that's a tricky tricky thing. When I vote, uh, in the times when I have, I then start to get on the radar of the tax man, and they think I'm over there. Um, because I, I basically vote through uh, where my parents live. Mm -hmm. So when I, in the time when I vote, it usually I start getting called up for, uh, you know, court duty or whatever, all that stuff. Oh yeah, so it's a big, big hassle. Sure. Well, you can't say that you're living in another country, but you're voting uh, by absentee ballot. By absentee ballot. Yeah, that, but that took two years to clear that up. Um, really? Yeah, that was like eight years ago. So I start getting bills for taxes for the local. I start getting uh, all, so it used to be no represent no taxation without representation. For me, it's no representation without taxation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, please. So, so but I do I, pay my federal taxes, but I don't pay local and state. So but, but the for, local and the state yeah. don't always know that. And if I vote. Confuses <laughs> them. I don't know why. But for, I, I assume that for the last eleven years or so, you've not been living in the United States, and right. yet, yet you sit over there, and I'm sure you follow these elections. You know, very closely. Very closely. E yeah. Enough to know to tell you that Hillary Clinton has won the election, and you're just talking about whatever. Well, um, you know, I, I, in a way, I would, I would listen to your assessment of that only because you're dispassionately sitting over there. And watching the thing from a distance, we're kind of got our nose up against it and are looking at every little dot yeah. that makes yeah. up the picture, you know. So yeah. I, I have a tendency to trust your instincts on this. Doesn't the American Embassy help you uh, through this uh, voting issue? Um, I don't know, maybe. Uh, we only have a consulate here. We're not uh, in the yeah. capital. Yeah. Uh, 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 Renee? You, I think that it's a very good point, but you know that I've been talking about this for a while. They have us chasing our tails, and, and because it brings in so much money yeah. and so much laser focus, it's really easy to control us with this whole voting thing. And, you know, the, the fact is, is we just keep going around and around and around, and once once the votes are in, what's going to be bringing in all that money that that was brought in for the voting nothing we're gonna okay. our, we're gonna see a dip right after the voting hold on that, hold on a second sense. renee uh, were you just trying to call me oh he he was he was trying to use skype and i it wouldn't answer because he was still online so uh uh, uh brie uh call us using your your desktop apparently that that does work yeah don't waste a good dress shirt Hey, I'm uh, <laughs> here, and uh, uh, I've got to fix it tonight. Uh, I I started Lightroom. Uh, there's a conflict. It won't let me get out of it, and it won't let me turn the computer off. I don't know why. Uh, it just tells me that there's a conflict with Lightroom uh, and, and on my laptop, and I'm taking a class tomorrow 
on light uh, a Lightroom class, an advanced Lightroom yeah. class, and I got uh, I got to figure out a way to fix this. Well, there's uh, there's Bree. Hello, Bree. Are you there? Just reboot. Uh, I it won't let me. Oh, uh, okay. So you're gonna hang up on us? Yeah, I, uh, I'm gonna have to call yeah. Adobe and see what I can do to fix okay. it. Okay. All right. Bye, Phil. Bye. Hello, Bye. Bree. You there? Bree. He can't hear us either. Bree, are you there? It's not really connected. It doesn't look like. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ha, ha, ha. Okay. Well. Uh, he's got ears. I can see he's got ears. Yeah. He's got ears. Please yeah. wait a while. It's not while really we... connected yet. See, it's bubbling. See the, the yeah. thing that's yeah. the dots that are going up? Everybody can see that on the TV thing, too. And anyway, um, uh, let me see here. Bottom of the ninth, Cleveland's got one, Chicago's got nothing, Chicago's got one person on base, and it's ugly. Okay. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Was, uh, 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 Mark Green, you want to join in on that laughter? Yeah, that's it. yeah. I, I I can't believe you're seeing that in Hawaii. That's crazy. Who's uh, who's ahead? Cleveland. Cleveland. It's about to win it all. It's not funny. Well, it's, they're not, they're not going to win it all tonight, but they will go ahead. Yeah, they and they will have another at least one more game, right? Uh, so if Cleveland wins, they'll be ahead two to one, and they have to win four. So yeah, okay. yeah. best of seven. Yeah. Okay. Uh, anyway, let me let me get rid of uh, one out, one on base. Uh, okay. So it's who who's winning tonight? Cleveland, so Mark, would, Green, and Dan. So that would mean Cleveland will have won how many if they win tonight? They two. will have won two, and Chicago's won one. Yeah. yeah. Um, we were talking about right over <laughs> I've never been an Indians fan, though. Okay. Well, we're back with uh, Bree. Are you there? No. You, you can't get him to connect. I used to live in Chicago, so I'm a Cubs fan, actually. So. Two outs. One person on base. Did, did you hear Alex about um, Lion Ted Cruz say, saying he won't support any Supreme Court justices? Right. Um, for entire Hillary's term. Yes. This is going to be what happens if Hillary. Uh, how does that? How does that? Ha how does that happen? What, have we lost our minds. We have to send some sort of message to Congress that says, just do your fucking job. Away. Well, I think we have to send a message to Ted Cruz that, that this, this is a behavior that you don't, you, you know, nobody sent people to, uh, to Washington to do that. Right. You know, uh, your job is to at least try to help the uh, 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 This is going to hurt. Are you, are you, let me ask you, are you there, Bree? Yeah. I'm here. Okay. I'm good. Just don't, don't, don't try anything else. Just stay on your iPad for the night, and then we'll try okay. some other night. Try coming in on your, on your desktop. Hey, what were we gonna okay. say, Rob? This they're saying that uh, that this whole uh, email thing now is gonna hurt her chances of, you know, because now they're all coming out saying, make sure you put a Republican in Congress and in. And uh, in the Senate, so that we can keep an eye on Hillary. Well, we have a new term that has come into play in this election, and it's the term down ballot. Yep. Everybody who's under the presidency. And they say that uh, uh, maybe Trump won't win, but this latest revelation about Hillary uh, may uh, hurt the Democrats, Democratic chances of taking over the Senate and the Congress. Right. And, and you know what it's going to be. It's going to be four years, because it, it won't be eight years if they get nothing done. It's going to be four years of yeah. constant battle and bickering back and forth, and they're going to spend four years trying to impeach her. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, absolutely. And, and we're going to be wasted freaking time because these people won't leave the damn leave it alone. There'll be zero cooperation. Yeah. I can't believe this whole thing. Well, I still want Michelle Obama as the SCOTUS. I want her to be the nominee for the Supreme Court justice. I don't think she wants that. I don't, I, you know, I mean. I want her there. <laughs> well, you know, the, today Hillary's people floated the thing that if she's elected, she wants to uh, 
make Joe Biden the Secretary of State. Why would Joe Biden want all that travel? Well, uh, he probably doesn't because about eight years ago or something, he was asked uh, why he's running for vice president. He said, well, I was given the choice of that or Secretary of State, and I didn't want to be Secretary of State. So I, I don't know that he would accept the job. Oh, it was, it's already been on that the Biden's ruled that out on the news. Oh, he, he has ruled it out good. I think that, and it said, no, no, no. <laughs> and I don't think that's a realistic float either, meaning that I don't, I think it was all a sleight of hand kind of float. Because he did turn it down before, and his son just died, uh, what, about a year, less than uh 20 months ago, he's not going to want a job where he has to be traveling all the fucking time. Right. Okay, let me ask Bree something. Bree, uh, sitting yeah. back there, you're, you're kind of like our long distance viewer on this whole thing. Uh, 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 did you yeah. did you think that Trump was going to get the nomination from the beginning? Um, not from the beginning, but uh, you know, pretty clearly a, a, a little while in, it was very clear. And a lot of it had to do with the fact that there were so many in that in that race that um, you know Trump just sort of stood out. My impression always was that the Republican Party thought, well, you know, maybe we have something here because he's got name recognition for sure. Yeah. And he seems to he seems to get the base uh, motivated quite a bit. So I think that there was sort of a you know, an interesting dance that that was always going on throughout the whole the whole process. Yeah. Um, you know, but uh, but I, 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 I think I think a great deal of his nomination had to do with the press covering him because in those days he was very entertaining. I mean, well, I, yeah. I say it's still even today. I don't think he's entertaining anymore. Not that he's now that he's using the teleprompter. He's just reading and reading very badly. He, he was yeah. he was never entertaining. It's the same stick. You were just willing to allow him to be that way in, until he got nominated, which nobody thought he was actually going to get nominated. And here we are because we thought he was entertaining. Dan, just put your picture up, will you? Because you're just whirling around. It'd be better to have a picture of you there than you know. Now here's a question, though. How how high of a cover up do you think this might be? The Hillary thing? Yeah. Like, you know, well, covered, up, covered up by who, though? I mean, who, who's, I wonder whose names are attached to this, to this server. Well, I you, think there's you, more to You know, the story. one thing, I mean, I'll tell you, the one thing about, uh, about uh, Phil that I had to completely disagree with was this whole thing that, that uh, Trump has a tendency to float, that Hillary brought about the nuclear treaty in Iran. It's kind of like he's a, he, he has a rug salesman, and he's the head of the rug company, and the guy goes out and makes the sale, but he has to sign the contract, okay? Uh, and also, uh, you know, I mean, it's like she was sent over there to do a specific job. Much to her credit, she did it, and she brought the deal home for America, and then the president went ahead and signed it and said, this is what we want to do. Does anybody here think that Hillary... Made the you know was the the forger of the Iran deal, Mark? I th actually thought it was John Kerry, so I may be wrong about that. But you know something, you're right. Yeah, it's John Kerry because that just happened. She was out. Oh, she but, I mean, but I mean, but I mean, the, the, the Republicans yeah. will criticize. It, no matter what they would have done, they would criticize it. And and that's this is my problem with Democrats is that they don't fight. If you had uh, uh, the same scenario going on with Democrats saying we will not approve any Supreme Court justice, no matter who you pick, Republicans would be screaming from the top of their lungs. And sure. Democrats, it's been quiet. You know? Why, what? Why no, is you know what? This is just a temper tantrum saying... If it, we're not gonna feed, we're not gonna feed the fire of jackass Tea Party human. If he wants to state that stuff, then just let it let it go through the news. Actually, cycle. we're not being fair now. We're really getting our way of, of life out. Uh, and and Phil had to hang up because okay, his light room wouldn't side. work, and 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 he would be here at least defending Trump in whatever 
half-ass, rational way, irrational way you can defend Trump. I can't. Wait, so Phil's not here. I can't even think. Phil, of Phil, had, Phil had to leave because he was having troubles with oh, his okay. computer. Well, I, I can play his role. Oh, you can, Bree. Okay, Bree is going to now. Bri Meyer, no now uh, the part yeah, of soap opera. This is what they used to do on soap operas. Yeah. Tonight, the part of Phil Meyer will be played by Bree. <laughs> no, your... I can play this role uh, pretty well. Okay. 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 You can play Go. his role. Tell me how he's going to bring back coal mines. <laughs> well, here's the thing. You know, politicians make promises a lot, and they they, they don't always have to. They don't always follow through on all of them. But clean coal is still a business. Um, if you go into western Pennsylvania, I mean, I'm from southwestern Pennsylvania. So it's sort of, you know, fracking and shale is all the new the new thing. But uh, clean coal uh, still exists. I have a friend who works in the industry in western New York, and it's still there. Um, you know, so... Uh, Ac Acme Coal went bankrupt. How is Donald Trump going to bring them back? Well, I don't, I don't know the specifics of that. Do you, uh, do you think Donald case. Trump knows? I don't think Donald Trump knows. I think he just says anything. Yeah. He just that's, says that's anything right. that comes out of his hand. Yeah, he, he, is, uh, he is an actor to a large extent. He's an entertainer, and he's playing the role of what he... He's never been a politician. He says that. So, so his supporters are stupid. <laughs> there you go. Well, yep. No, no, I think I think the best description of them is a basket of deplorables. Yeah, I is like it? the locker room of deplorables. <laughs> oh, really? Uh, or yeah. Hillary, yeah. Hillary's supporters are a basket of adorables. Uh, no, I don't oh. know. <laughs> uh, exactly. <laughs> no, I mean, I mean, Donald that. Trump's supporters are stupid because because he's not well, explaining any, how he's going to do anything he says he's going to do. He's Not a master of the obvious. Uh, he, he, look, he's the, great the, at pointing I, I, at everything that's wrong because that's easy to do. There's a lot wrong. Well, no, what he's done, he's also done the typical advertising ploy. You create a fear, and then you say you're the guy who's gonna gonna protect them. Okay? Mm -hmm. It's 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 the mount, you know, it's it's belling the cat. Uh, it's it's any of those things. You j he's just painted such a dire picture of America. And then says, well, I'm going to solve it. You know, he doesn't say how he's going to solve it, but I'm going to solve it. Look, we're murders in Chicago, and oh, and Iran's got the bomb. And blah, blah. He never has anything positive to say about it. Here's something that's good. Let's build on it, you know? Right. Yeah, but you're saying the word positive as, not positive as in good boy, that a boy. You're saying the word as he's got no game plan. Uh, yeah, he basically, right. no, it's not even a game plan. He has no ideas of how he's going to handle anything. Right. You know, even in, in, in economic terms, when it comes to economic problems, he doesn't have any real answers for those either. And that should be his, you know, right. his really bailiwick, sweet his sweet spot. Yeah. Do you think there's a chance that we may be calling him President Trump in two weeks? I, I, I look. I, I would agree with uh, uh, Bree and, and that uh, probably not. Oh, you know, Bree. probably not. But unfortunately, we're going to have to call Hillary president. You know, oh, and, and who would have thought it would go back to the to Anthony Weiner's hard drive? Can you imagine his censorship? Well, you know, I mean, he he has caused the. Oh, the it's he, amazing. He, really. he, he's he caused made all the dick pics. Imagine having a picture of your wife. <laughs> I feel like, oh my it's God. It's going to be in Hillary's email, all the dick pics. All the dick pics are going to be in there. <laughs> 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 How many well, no, times but he, he, here, Here's the problem with Wiener. Is that the, and the, and the reason why they, they think there's some stuff that they can look at here is they were looking at his emails, and his emails were on the same server. Oh. Uh, uh, Uma Hab Abedin uh, used uh, Uma Abedin at, you know, whatever, Clinton.com or Clinton.edu or whatever. Yeah, Server.com. Yeah. And uh, so did so did Anthony. He he had an account on that server as well. Not me. Yeah. Yeah, well, not you because they didn't want you, Tony. Uh, but uh, and, and so yeah. that's what they're investigating. They're not investigating her email. Oh, so they're not investigating her. 
they're not investigating her he emails. Oh. They've simply gone to Congress, the Congressional Committee, and said, we found some more emails on the Clinton yeah. server the, that need to be looked at. Is, on a device is not going had to I thought she was going to jail. What? Uh, you told me they weren't panicking. They're going to put her in jail. What? No, the email thing is, is old news. I thought she was and anything thing. that's brought up new is only because they want to use it after the election. You know, as you said, to kind of bog things down, but it won't have any uh, impact so on the election. The you know, I think her her number her numbers may dip a bit, or what it might do is take people who were reluctantly going to the polls yes. to vote for her the to not reluctantly go to the polls to vote for her. Right, that, that's and the big problem here. That's a big problem. Agree. And there are a lot of those reluctant well, people. You know, I mean. I, early voting. Look, I don't understand anybody who thinks Donald Trump is wonderful. I mean, I have to agree. They've got to be idiots or morons or shouldn't have the right to vote because they don't vote right. responsibly. Yeah. They vote for all the wrong reasons. can't do that. But listen, I've argued for years that the democratic system may not be the best system we could have. I think a beneficial uh, 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 dictator might be better. Oh, you know, uh, you know, know. You a dictator is really on this, what? I thought you were going to start quoting Winston Churchill. Why? What did he say? It's the it's the worst form of government, except for all the others. Except for all the others. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, you, you know, I mean, we we make a big deal out of this democracy, but look what it's produced. Look look at who we're being handed as a choice. And by the way, interestingly enough. Obama's approval ratings are now going through the roof. Oh. And the reason they're going through the roof is all of a sudden everybody's saying, well, you know, compared to these two people, he wasn't half bad. Yeah, well, also, <laughs> Alex, what if, uh, if Trump challenges things legally, would Obama have to stay in office? If you look back at the George Bush Al Gore situation, eventually that was decided uh, we had the ability to have a decision by the Supreme Court at that time, because there was uh, there were nine members. But if there if it were to go to the Supreme Court, how would that who would be ruling? I mean, I according to the media, they might get they, they might. It, 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 you know, there's a very interesting thing happening here. Let me see if I can kind of explain it because I had to scratch my head on it. There's a guy I can't remember his name now who's running for president in Utah. He's a Mormon very well known in the area, and he is in second place. Yes. Hillary is in third by just a small margin. There is a chance that this guy could win Utah. Right. All right? And there is a chance that all the other things aligning in a certain way could make it so that both Hillary and uh, Trump come up with a, with a similar... Marks, Marks. Yeah, see, now we're back to the electoral electoral. College. Well, wait a minute. I mean, no, we're not to back to the. They could get the same amount of electoral votes, and now you've got this one guy who would be the deciding factor. Unfortunately, he can't suddenly throw his votes to somebody or whatever. So what it does is it gets thrown to the Congress, and he becomes a possible candidate for president. And they say this guy could wind up being president of the United States if, if the other two don't make the 270. <laughs> yeah, you're, you're absolutely this is all right. I think his name is McMullen. What? Yeah. I think his name is McMullen. Yeah. yeah. And he's better than Trump. The reason he can win Utah is because people from Utah are actually really religious. Yeah. And so they're not phony religious like the people that support Trump. Right. And they say they're not they're not going to vote for Trump because he's a creep. Right. So this guy could actually win Utah and win their electoral votes and like you say throw this whole thing up for grabs. For grabs and he could no. become president of no, the wait. United States. Well, this is great fun for the media, but <laughs> I'm back to reality. It's Hillary Clinton. You know, you, that's you just got to get used to that reality. I think that you're probably right, but uh, Donald Trump is so scary that I just want to make extra sure that 
the nails in his coffin are really pounding. <laughs> yeah, he's right. yeah. Yeah. Well, Dan, you're in the state that can do something about it. So well, yeah, that's, I, I know. Well, here's, right. a, here's a question for the panel, if I may. Yeah. Uh, you know, Bernie Sanders was sort of the, you know, the man, in, 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 and everybody loved him. His platform is essentially the same as Jill Stein's platform. So why doesn't Jill Stein poll higher? Is it because they don't, I mean, when they conduct a survey, they well, the, the sample numbers are too low? Bree, I, I don't want to simplify this, but have you ever heard her sing? <laughs> she had a record out. Uh, I've interviewed Jill Stein, and can I say something? I've said it before, and I'll say it again, and it's very simple. She's a real dope. She's really not very bright. I've interviewed her. I, however, what's his name? Um, Gary Johnson. Uh, 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 yeah. Gary Johnson, I've interviewed, and I really like the guy. I didn't, uh, he's kind of a dope now, but he, I liked the guy back then. In fact, I played an interview I did with him here a few weeks ago, and a really interesting guy to listen to. I don't agree with his politics, but he certainly has a, a pretty high level of, uh, of, of decency going for him. Oh, Phil's back. Yay. I've gotten the exact yeah. opposite impression. Oh, we had somebody play? Well, I mean, Johnston recently with his, he didn't know where Aleppo was. Yeah, see, that, 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 and yeah. he couldn't name a leader from another country. Yeah, yeah that's recent yeah. too. We we thought he was good until we were hoping he was good until he opened his mouth and Aleppo felt didn't fall out. And then once Aleppo didn't fall out, then he kind of lost it and is is definitely going downhill. I do agree with something that Johnson said though. Somebody said to him, "Well, why why are you running?" Because you're just going to spoil, you can't win and you're going to spoil the whole thing. And he said, if you take that kind of mentality, we'll never have more than a two-party system in this country. Yeah. You know, that exactly. you really want to have a vibrant three or four-party system. Uh, but, it, you yeah. know, it, it, it's... Howard Dean suggested that we do some kind of a rank order voting. He said they're doing it in Maine. And this, this is going to bring more than two parties to the table. Yeah, we'll oh, talk about that. Transferable voting? Yeah, I forget. You, 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 you pick who you want first and who you want second. They right. have that. I know all about that. Yeah, they have that in Oakland, California, and it's very confusing. Yeah, uh, but it's, it saves a lot of money and saves a lot of time. That would be great to do for president because that would just, you could, you wouldn't even have to have a runoff election. You just, well, it's just the way you tell it to have we had a runoff election? Oh, this is for Phil. Yeah, uh, you're doing video, huh? Yeah, video. No, this uh, is video this head. is still head. Yeah. Hey, uh, it's Adobe Crash Demon saved my life. Adobe, what is Adobe Crash Demon? Uh, it's uh, it, it's, it's uh, pronounced uh, Demon. Activity monitor. It's, it's Demon. Demon. It's one game three. Yep. Okay, it's de pronounced Demon. Damon? It's a D A D A E M O N. It's not a demon. No. Damon Bach. Damon. He was a character on Star Trek. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, whatever it is, it's an Adobe thing and the activity monitor, and I was able to get out of the crash. I couldn't turn the computer off, and I couldn't get out of Adobe. Well, it was a good way to pull. It just pull the plug out of the wall. That'll always stop it. Was it. The laptop. Oh. And then pull the battery out. You know, I, I, the power I couldn't hold down the power button for like five seconds. It'll power it. Off. And then it said it won't shut off. There's a conflict with Adobe uh, Light. And okay, so well, we don't care about your technical problems. We're talking about other things. <laughs> All right. Uh, hey, uh, I wanted to ask about Aleppo. Uh, is that hotel still standing uh, that belongs to your aunt? Well, I can only get the text from her, but she's still there. Everything's fine on this side of the red line. The hotel is still standing, and she doesn't even want to come out for a vacation. And that that kind of worries me that that's a lot of stuff. But thank you for asking. I appreciate that. Yeah. Uh, Do you hear me talking the other day with uh, Bubbles about when I was involved when I was in the San Francisco earthquake in the marina and yeah. it was terrible yeah, and, 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 and yeah and how good the sex was and that I called it a, I call it a rubble fuck and if you ever have a chance to have a rubble fuck it's the best sex you'll ever have and I've had anthropologists tell me why it has to do with us wanting to preserve our DNA or whatever 
So I figured that if you've got a woman you really want to have good, great sex with, get on a plane, go to Aleppo. <laughs> you know. Real, right. You would yeah. And there's a hotel there. There's a hotel there that will welcome you with open arms. Hey, the yeah, South Bronx yeah. will do the same thing. <laughs> no, South Bronx isn't that way anymore. The South Bronx is rehabilitated. Wow. You haven't been back here in a long time. But I did visit you three or four days after the earthquake to see if you needed any help when you were in the marina. Yeah, yeah. It was pretty messy. Hey, uh, 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 a you brief... talk about Iran a lot. You know, to uh, if I can paraphrase uh, Sarah Palin, I can see Iran from my front porch. <laughs> <laughs> I can see Japan from mine. Uh, it, 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 how, let me quickly, we only have a little bit of time left, but in, in Dubai, what's their attitude about being in that kind of hotbed of the world? Because they seem to be somewhat immune from it, aren't they? Yeah, we're, we're, we're the oasis here, um, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, we, we, they've got lucky, they've got good leadership, and uh, yeah. I mean, the terrorists never come in and do anything there or anything else, right? Uh, I, you know, I'm not the best person to ask about that, but, uh, but do you feel? Sorry, I watched a documentary. I watched a documentary on Dubai uh, not too long ago, and they were talking about that they had overbuilt. That there was a lot of speculation in the uh, in the housing market, and uh, that they had overbuilt. And there's a lot of uh, empty units uh, that uh, people had invested millions of dollars on. Is that uh, still true? Um, not not exactly. The, there, there's definitely an upswing, and the, we have uh, the Expo 2020 is coming here, and so everybody is sort of, uh, you know, has a positive attitude at least up until then. So yeah, we'll and see. you have that okay, hotel okay, okay. in Ireland. Yeah, uh, you can go on, keep doing your interview, but off the air because we got to get <laughs> off the air. Phil. It's uh, very interesting. Hey, Bree, listen, I want you to keep calling us now that you know how to do it. Well, yeah, if I'm ever up this early, we'll see. No, please, please do it. You're terrific. How, how? What time is it there? Seven. Well, it's coming up on eight o'clock. Coming up on eight o'clock. Okay. Well, it's Saturday. Yeah. Go back to bed. Get, get yeah. up early and come thank give you. us a call. We'd love to hear from you. That you've been terrific. Right. Thanks, you've been Alex. absolutely terrific. Renee, thank you. Phil Meyer, thank you. He just hung up on me. No, Mark. No, no. I didn't oh, the Mark Green, Green, thank you for being with us tonight. And I'm glad to hear you're feeling better now. And thank now you. that you're uh, well and doing good, uh, uh, we'd love to hear more from you. Okay. We'll do. Okay. Uh, Rob Alfano, always a pleasure. Mr. Dan, love having you on. And Tony, well, you don't say much, but it's nice <laughs> to see you in one of those squares. Good night, everybody. Give Thanks for try. joining me. Okay. Uh, that's uh, that's it uh, for tonight, ladies and gentlemen. That's our uh, our show. Let me just uh, turn the, uh, yeah, I have to turn the Skype off so the next show can use the Skype, okay? Uh, we finally got the video going. We finally got the, we got somebody from Dubai. Uh, a little technical glitches here and there, but uh, I hope you saw us through them. Uh, we'll see you again on Tuesday, same time, same station in life. In the meantime, stay tuned for the intersection over most of these same GabNet stations with Jack and Amy. I'm Alex Bennett, and if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? And to uh, all the people out there who are watching uh, the uh, TV thing, we'll say goodbye to you tonight. By the way, uh, you notice these pants are wearing the light pajama pants. Okay, because I, I was looking, I probably should wear jeans when we do the shows on, on uh, Friday. Anyway, I think I got the, uh, the video going okay tonight. I had to lower the quality, and I, I think that will solve the problems from here on in for the live streaming. But the picture looks good, so I'm not, uh, not complaining about that. Anyway, thank you so much for joining us, and uh, uh, we'll see you again next week on Friday with the TV, but why not join us on Tuesday at 10 o'clock on GabNet.net. Bye.